What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we are picking up where we left off yesterday and we are opening a new tin and this time we're going with the oh, Picaram tin. Uh, I think by far this is the one with the best value and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, however, we did mention that we have big tins which I was referring to these guys and we mentioned little tins and in case you didn't know already what I was referring to, it is this guy. And no, these are not mints, despite what they look like and how they sound. Oh, special congratulations to the two lucky subscribers that did win the giveaway for the Ultra Shiny GX pack, as well as the Reshi Ram Charizard uh, tag team card. And if you were not lucky enough to win those, don't worry, we're going to have a couple more giveaways in the near future. One of them being on this channel, uh, as well as another one that we'll do through Instagram. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into the opening. All right, guys, let's do this. So we have this on oh, it. It's perfect that it's a Squirtle tin. It's really small, but it's it's pretty cool. It's really nice. I'm not sure what this could be useful for storing, uh, but let's get into it. So there are five different tins, and it's just not the you know different tin that you are kind of getting. So they each do have a card that kind of like has the same picture, and then there's five different pictures that all kind of uh, go together. And with a couple, I think each one has like two Pokemon, so this has uh, Magikarp and Squirtle. So let's get into it, and I believe there's two packs inside and a coin, which is what's kind of clanking around. Um, the card kind of worries me that this card is kind of in this kind of thing, but it does look like the corners are in pretty good shape. Um, so yeah, if you get all five, uh, basically this kind of pic uh, depicts a nice picture. Actually, I'll have the picture like right over here as far as the full picture. Uh, so you can collect all five. And let's see what kind of packs we have. So we do, ooh, one thing I really like is Burning Shadows. Uh, although the fact that they stuffed this pack in here is, is very worrisome. And then of course a random XY series. So we have a Fates Collide as well. And this coin, uh, I believe the package says Metallic Coin. Um, this thing ain't metal. But unless they mean Genesec is metallic. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into these packs real quick. Actually, the, just the, the container, really nice. Um, again, I'm not sure what this wing would be good for. Again, I, I mentioned this last time. Why don't they make these tins useful for storing cards, like as far as the shape and stuff goes? Like if it was kind of like the Elite Train Box, nice for whether the card is sleeved or unsleeved, I don't care which one, but I don't know. Just... What are we looking for in this set? I have no idea. I need to figure out what direction the code cards are these days. All right, DCE, pretty good. Uh, so I am kind of like tinkering with a new uh, camera app. So I feel like this one compared to, I have a Pixel and the default camera is like super zoomed in. So this app kind of like is zoomed out more, uh, kind of makes things a little bit more flexible for me. Which I kind of like Fairy Garden Reverse. And then, ooh, that Snorlax is pretty cute. In case you guys haven't seen the Snorlax in Double Blaze, go check out, uh, I think it was the second part um, of our opening. There's a, like a very uh, nice looking Snorlax in that set. Really excited about that card for when it hits, hits uh, in Unbroken Bonds. Search for that Rainbow Rare Charizard. That's one thing I do like about these little tins. The rest of it is just okay. Um, well, in Rattata, ah, Heracross. I think like it's it's a nice change of pace. Um, you know, it got this nice uh, art. Comes with a little picture that you know I definitely want to collect all five to create the whole picture. So now to move on to the Picaram tin. I think this one is by far the best of the three. And uh, actually, shout out to Mama Kangaskhan pointing out to me. For some reason, I didn't realize that the the Mimikyu Gengar isn't available in this, uh, which I kind of find interesting. Um, so, so my biggest gripe about these tins is the timing of the release, where you, while I think it's great for you know, uh, especially like kids and stuff that don't have a lot of disposable income to kind of like collect all the tag teams, this is a very affordable way to do so, and it's like the special full art, so. That's like awesome, but then at the same time, the opposite end is that like people spend a significant amount of money chasing these cards, and then they just give them—not give them away, but you know—you can get it for twenty-something dollars. 
and it comes with some booster packs as well so that that part like i feel like it's it is kind of like a double-edged sword where it's good for some people and then i can see if people are f other people are frustrated by the how these things were released all right so code card i believe this gives you some kind of deck and let's see this card looks great and look at that but when we talk about like all like when we looked at all the tag teams for uh unbroken bonds like i feel like the full arts were awesome and then if they kind of just like give them away I, I won't i won't lie like i feel like i'm really looking forward to trying to open all of them in packs and then if if all i have to do is find the tins like hey that i guess makes my job easier but at the same time it takes away from you know that sense of accomplishment of pulling them yourself this is evolutions oh last Last video, guys, I thought we were going to get that Mega Char- Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen last video, this is super deja vu. So we had a Charizard Spear Link in the beginning, then we had a Reverse Charmander. And I thought we were going to get the Mega Charizard. Full Heal, Poliwag, Leaf Energy, Rattata, Vulpix, Electabuzz. Ooh, Reverse Ninetales, pretty good hit. And a Farfetch'd. <laughs> Alright, let's move to Forbidden Lights. Yeah, so as far as um, kind of like my own thoughts on these tins, I think overall they're, they're really good, especially for people that are trying to get all the tag team cards. For the actual packs, it's actually better than, in my opinion, better than a lot of them, uh, where you have two of the newest set and then one Forbidden Light, which um, I feel like was kind of a dud of a set, but at least it's still Sun and Moon. And then you get your, of course, your random XY that... In general, I don't think most anybody cares about. So we have a Skrelp, and I see something really shiny. Let's see what we got. Looks like a textured card as well. We have, ooh, Greninja Full Art. Very nice. Mm, very, very happy with our pulls lately. Um, definitely, definitely doing well. So, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know what your thoughts are on this product or either of these products. Um, and if you do enjoy the video, I would appreciate if you hit that like button down below. And if you are new to the channel, definitely subscribe and welcome to the community. So, let's see. We got that. Ah, this Charmander art doesn't get old. Love it every time. Oh, I'm tired of seeing these magic cards though. <laughs> and we have a Gyarados. So, the this guy came with a Burning Shadows pack. So, I feel like that kind of exempts us from... Uh, our search for the Rainbow Rare Charizard for, for today at least. Um, oh, it doesn't? Okay, don't worry. Let's see if we can't pull that Charizard. And the day we pull that, it's going to be... That will be a epic, epic opening. We got a Mudbray, Lediba, Hoot Hoot, a little Vulpix, very cute. Ralts, nice. Electros, which is uh, just okay. And then, ooh, DNC. All right, not bad, not bad. And again, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, if you didn't, uh, we're not lucky enough to win that giveaway. Don't worry, there's more to come. So be on the lookout for future videos. And uh, probably we won't have as much of a lead time before we announce the winner as this time. It's the first set. All right, ooh, Zapdos Reverse. Very nice, like very few GX cards are actually better than this, so. Very happy with that. And then we have, ooh, talk about legendary. This is a legendary bird pack. Uh, so we got Articuno and the Zapdos. Let's start with this guy. So the Squirtle Magikarp, it does kind of have some information on the back. Nothing too crazy, um, but very nice. And um, we'll slowly uh, get all five arts. So for the opening, we have a Zapdos Reverse. Very happy with that. Greninja Full Art, which is awesome. And then by far the coolest card, and this came with the tin guys. So, in my opinion, this if you if you're going to get one tin, definitely go with the Pikachu Zekrom. This card is amazing, and the art is just as good as always, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, follow me on Instagram um, and share the video. Uh, other than that, guys, I'm a Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.